Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him to leave and never come back. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But... But we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we going to do? It was 
under control. I talked Marlin down. Then he murdered my fucking friend. Take AJ. Go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. No, he wouldn't do that. He'd never hurt any of you. It was... Marlin threatened us. AJ pointed the gun first. We get it, Louis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Uh, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So is everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good, like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. Vile started soon. See you out there. <sighs> this is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. <laughs> Dr. 
time to go? Soon. Ready? Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them more. They died. Well, to remember people we loved. They loved Marlin. Shit. Yeah, they did. I made them all sad. She was real sweet. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Merlin did bad things, but he wasn't a monster. I know. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So... I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. He just killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. They take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. 
Louis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go.